Hi guys, I'm going to be talking today about the airplanes in Battlefield 1. Uh, at the moment I'm playing Company of Heroes, the World War 1 mod. The Great War 1918. It's definitely worth picking up the game to get this free mod. It's pretty in-depth and that's a very good very good um, graphics really. All details just done all by uh, modders. It's, it's amazing. It's very well done indeed. Everything's been just kind of redone. Maybe not all the models, like the buildings and everything, that's direct from the game, but the rest of the stuff's all new. So yeah, it's, it's very, very good. I'm enjoying it. I'm halfway through the actual game at the moment, so yeah, I'm doing alright. It's a little bit rusty, I'm getting to grips with playing this game, so I'm just playing skirmish mode to get used to it. So apart from that, I'm having fun. And yeah, I just want to talk about Battlefield 1's planes, by the way, yeah. Air warfare, what's it going to be like? Most famous airman, well it's got to be Baron von Richthofen. And <laughs> there was another one as well, a famous ace, who actually should have been killed. Uh, it was Goering, believe it or not. He, yeah, he was a fighter ace in World War One. Yeah, absolutely true fact. And the thing I hate about the Germans is their style. <laughs> Look at these planes, some of them are Canadian, some of them are French, some Italian, Belgian there. Most of them are German, but there's one thing in common: those two, well, those ten planes, are all different, different designs, different officers, all totally real designs. So imagine the customization in the game; it's going to be pretty unique and pretty cool, I think. If they use real-life camos for the planes, it'd be great, you know. Now my um, my thoughts on how they're going to handle when they get shot, obviously. You shoot the wings off, I think there will be major damage to these planes, so you'll see some pretty cool damage. Bullet holes in the plane itself, and wings coming off, or parts of the plane coming off, maybe even the wheels, and maybe you're dead, you can't land, or anything like that. So if you can land, I'm not too sure if there'll be like a an airfield for you to land or take off from, or if it's just spawning in the air. I really don't have a clue. I hope you'll be able to take off, and if you just sustain a lot of damage you can fly back and get fixed up and fly back out again. The Hanley Page and the German Gotha plane. Two bombers uh, for each side and you've got to think, there they are, Hanley and the Gotha at the top. And you've got to think how they're going to handle. They're, they're going to be slow, you may have to protect them uh, being a fighter pilot. It could be a game mode where you've got to protect the bombers to a certain route or you know, maybe destroy the dreadnought sort of thing using bombers or the airship. It's some ideas I've been thinking about, you know, how would this game be if it had a mode where you had to destroy, say, uh, dreadnoughts with uh, bombers or an airship and you got to protect it with your own planes and everything. Maybe the airship will fly around like an AC-130, as I've been thinking about, and eventually you get to shoot it down with a plane, so it's going to be that kind of sort of thing. The annoying moment when you're in AC-130 and you're having fun blasting the crap out of people, hiding buildings and camping and everything, and then you're shot down really quick by a jet. That, that's a bit of a bitch, so I hope that, well, if you're in a fighter and you're against an airship full of hydrogen, it's going to end very badly. But I hope it's not... One of those things that uh, you get in and it's annoying because you only live a few seconds and there'll be no one in the airships. It's like the AC-130 used to be empty half the time because it was always getting shot down when after they uh, nerfed it. Uh, before then it was it was kick-ass. It it's, depends how the depends how the airship is. Uh, I think it will have like a, a role to play in reconnaissance and as a, an offensive weapon, you know, dropping bombs onto buildings and trenches. I think the view of the actual uh, Zeppelin will be limited so you can't exactly get, you, you can see what you're bombing but you have to be, there's a trick to it, like a lot of accuracy to it. You have to use a bit of skill so it's not like easy sort of thing where you just fire away and you're getting easy kills. Uh, they'll try and hamper it some way. Like they did with the rocket tank. Uh, they were, well, they really fucked that up, didn't they? It was great in Battlefield 3, and then the rocket tank was just a load of shit. So you go around with this mobile rocket launcher, and you ain't killing anything because they've changed the way the view was. You know, instead of seeing outside your tank in third-person mode, 
all you're seeing is a shitty little screen. You don't know what you're firing at half the time. And you're a uh, fair game. I think the airship will be similarly handicapped where the view is restricted somehow. But again, just a guess. I think it's a good one. And I think the game will be uh, balanced. Of course, this game will be balanced. It'd be daft to think not. But again, your thoughts are, well, will be appreciated. Put it in the comments below. I hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Uh, I don't think I'll uh, put the rest of the gameplay up because it's kind of boring to watch these sort of games. And I'll catch you guys later with uh, another video. This time it will be about melee combats and trench warfare. Uh, that's quite a good one. So, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And I'll catch you guys later. Unit has been knocked out.